The PGA is no stranger to the Ozarks. There's a Champions Tour event in April, a Corn Ferry Tour event in July, but as Color 10's Matt Vereen shows us, there's another PGA project that helps veterans every week. Laura Carter has played golf for 66 years now, and she's got the documents to prove it. Uh, 40 years ago. <laughs> and despite all the changes to the game, Green fees, a buck and a half. <laughs> Can you imagine? She's still carving up the course at 96 years old. From the time I started it, I loved it. And while a hole in one 60 years ago ranks high in her life accomplishments, serving in World War II stands out above the rest. I was aviation machinist mate third class. In the Navy? Yes. How long did you serve? Oh, about two and a half years. I, when, when the war ended, I got out. Carter was lucky enough to return from the war without major physical or mental struggle. But not all veterans are as lucky. It messes with people every day, and there's no getting rid of it. How do you, how do you cure a memory of shooting somebody, killing them, and then pull their family's picture out of their pocket? How do you cure that? Veterans like Carter suffer a common problem rejoining society after service, but each one found a similar place to conquer that, right here on the tee box. I've never seen an angry face out on the golf course. Everybody's laughing, having a good time. It's all part of PGA Hope a program that invites veterans onto the course once a week for exercise, fun, and most importantly, socialization. You're with your own, and you, you understand each other, so that's the important thing, and no issues with that, and I love it. But important programs like this one don't come free. On July 20th, Rivercut Golf Course is hosting a tournament to raise funds in hopes of reaching even more veterans than the dozens already involved. If you Google PGA Hope slash Reach, you'll see that there's somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 uh, programs across the nation. That's a drop in a bucket, what it should be. And with more funding would come more help and hopefully more Laura Carters. I'm bowling. Forget it. No golf. In Springfield, Matt Vereen, hey, Ozarks that's First.